All right. Let's jump into the live critique. Let's jump into the live critique. All right. Who we got first? All right. First up, we got Adam Mays. Adam Mays 26. All right. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. Is this, is it given 90s catalog? What, what y'all think? Adam Mays, I know you in here. You can speak a little bit to it if you want. Y'all let me know some. How we feeling about this one from Adam Mays? Cole said the playlist go crazy. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's the that's the new official stream playlist. Adam A says, okay, so I kind of rushed it. W, she's a automatic '90s vibe, to be honest. Yeah, this is like um, I want to I want to say like it kind of feels like uh less '90s catalogs, but more of like um kind of like a old like kind of vintage tabloid kind of a magazine of some sort, which isn't which isn't too far off. Um, you got the numbers in there. You know, um, you've got some framing going on, some kind of full body uh, kind of posing there. And so it's it's all the elements are there. You just kind of need to work on it a little bit more. Like I wouldn't, TT says, color palette and layout super clean. Also used a lot of the motifs we talked about, like the numbering. Yeah, not a fan of the triangle on the right, but I love the circle and close up of the face. Yeah, you've got some framing going on right there. So it looks, uh, that looks good. I would have done a more... I can't tell if you're trying to crop for the the teeth or for the or for like the pendant, and so I would have maybe cropped it in a little bit more on the on the pendant to kind of make it feel like it's a little bit more kind of centered or uh kind of focused on like a a product of some sort. Adam May says I feel like I felt like adding the red made it look modern. It does. It definitely it definitely makes it feel um a little more up to date. Look like the I think the text down here makes it feel a little bit more up to date also but i think you kind of want to not aim for it to look modern if it doesn't if you can't get it to kind of or if it if the uh the kind of aesthetic of the kind of catalogs takes a backseat to it looking modern i would i would focus more on kind of getting across the aesthetic as opposed to kind of uh prioritizing it looking modern over that okay yes uh focusing on her necklace yeah i would have cropped i would have just cropped it a little bit more tt says the black and white behind her also feels a little out of place i think it being in color might blend more and uh and stand out less the black and white are you talking about the the black and the black and white text or the black and white um or the images the image of her okay oh yeah the image down in the bottom right corner yeah i think you could have utilized um i think the main thing with this one is uh, I'm not really seeing a grid. Um, a lot of the catalog designs that we talked about kind of utilize um, grids and, you know, maybe it's a two column grid or a three column grid or a four column grid. But here I, I don't really get the sense that there's kind of um, a grid in, pl in play here. So um, maybe if you could have taken uh, kind of image one and then two here and then kind of stack those on top of each other, then put looking angelic maybe across the top or somewhere within um, the column along with images one and two, and then put the text. Um, and you could have also probably grouped looking angelic with the, the text down here um, to kind of make it feel more like it was a table of some sort. And then you could have taken, you know, maybe like, Put one and then kind of do like the dots with um, the tab dots in between like um, the one and then maybe putting like a, a description of each image of some sort just to kind of give it more of the sense of like, uh, you know, there's some sort of like pricing guide or catalog or pricing guide or, or something attached to it. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be that, but I think that probably would have helped push the concept a little bit more, but I think overall you got you got all the elements in play. Um, I see what you're going for. Uh, I, I can tell you struggled a little bit right here with the uh, with with your uh, quick mask right here, and so if you use uh if you cut this out with Photoshop, if you use the um, I think it's the refine hair tool, uh, refine hair tool, it'll it'll work perfectly on that. And so within your quick mask, if you just double click in Photoshop into your quick mask, you can use the refine hair tool to kind of clean this area up here. But overall, good work, though. Looks solid. All right. Y'all ready for the next one? Y'all got any more uh, thoughts 
uh, or feedback for Adam Aze. If not, we'll move on to the next one. He says, super solid. Keep it up. Adam Aze that, uh, says, thank you. Yeah, bro, no problem. That's what we do. Hope, hope, Hopefully you got some good critique out of that, some good feedback out of that. All right, let's move on. All right, next up, um, we've got, I want to say, I want to just say bless LA or bless La Suo. I don't know how to pronounce that. But yeah, let me know. Let me know y'all thoughts. How we feeling about this one? Definitely, definitely got some catalog vibes going here. We've got, you know, we've got a headline, long description here. We've got the price right here as well. Then we've got some imagery going on. Definitely get the sense that there's a grid there. What y'all think? TT says, this is sick. I like the colors and the texture. Follows the grid. Don't have any real critiques. Adam A says, there's a clear direction within the layout. Yeah. Yeah, I get the, yeah, this seems like a, got like a two column grid going on here. Having the Sonic in automatically got me on board, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's how to win me over, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a Sonic, Sonic stand over here for real. UT Curse, dope, everything is well aligned. Cole says, uh, very, uh, or it's so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, this one is solid. Um, I would have, I would say that the only, one of the few things that's kind of thrown me off is, um, the background color there it it kind of it kind of feels it kind of has this like iridescent kind of holographic almost kind of looks like an oil spill of of some sort but um i would have just like toned toned back the the background of this a little bit made it feel a little bit more vintage maybe go for one of those cream colors that we off that we talked about you know, or just um, make make it just make it white. I think that would have worked well. Um, I don't think that you know '90s catalogs or something. They I don't think that they would use something in the background uh, of like a kind of an iridescent kind of texture of some sort. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. And then right in here, um, I see what you're trying to do, but kind of the grid kind of stall uh, starts to fall apart a little bit. He says, I'd say the middle gutter. Uh, if this is a real magazine in print, that middle text would get folded in the pages. That's the only critique. Yeah, that's really close to the to the to the edge there. And maybe maybe uh kind of kerning this to be a little bit tighter. Um maybe more margin around the page here also. Because I've you know, you've got some margin here, but you don't I'm not seeing any margin right here. So maybe kind of opening up some space right there uh, as well. And in this top area, I feel like the grid kind of starts to fall apart a little bit. I kind of get the sense that you were trying to do like something a little bit more dynamic to kind of break the grid a little bit. But with everything, with this being so close to the edge over here, it just kind of, I don't know, it kind of makes everything feel out of whack a little bit. Raven says, completely nailed the 90s, uh, 90s vibe. Very well placed, love the texture, love the gradient. But I would have also liked to see um, more products because you're you're showing the you're showing the game, which is which is good. But I would have liked to see the actual yeah crazy spoiler right. I would have liked to see the actual like gaming cartridge, or um, instead of just the Sonic kind of image. And so um, I feel like that could have went over well. Um, I feel like definitely the maybe could have left out the drop drop shadow here also. Um, I don't feel like you really need it. Um, unless, you know, unless you're going to interpret the drop shadow in the way that it kind of feels like it's, uh, actually a part of the, um, actually a part of the, uh, the scene, I would just leave it out, but definitely would have liked to see the, uh, see the actual kind of cartridge here. Yeah. I think you could have left out the drop shadow here also. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like you could, you probably could have, um, I want to say. I feel like you could have fit all of this on, if you would have done this entire thing, but on one page, I feel like it probably would have worked better. What y'all think? I think that's all the feedback I got for this one. I really like the idea though. Just needs a little bit of work. Maybe in one of these, I'll, uh, I'll have y'all send me the Photoshop files and I can, I can, I can get in there and mess around and do some stuff. Make the, Raven says, make the font smaller. It's a tad bit smaller, a wee bit smaller. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, next up we got, Chan 2171. Chan 2171. How we feeling about this one, chat? What are y'all thoughts on this one? Got a really, got a good grid going on. We've got some framing <clears throat> to call out, uh, to bring attention to uh, 
some specific products here. We've also got some framing going on with this text here to call attention to a promotion that's going on. How y'all feeling about this one? Y'all got thoughts? We got a clear margin going on uh, right here. Cole says sick, John 3K, I almost feel as though there's too much text or like the objects themselves aren't emphasized enough. Adam A says the title really stands out with the red on the top. Yeah, that looks good. Very, very solid. Yeah. Um, I think as far as the text, I don't mind the amount of copy with with catalog um catalog magazines and stuff. They tend to kind of maximize the amount of listings that they have on an individual page. So I don't mind the copy as much. But um this right here is kind of where I feel like it's uh it's kind of you're kind of starting to start to lose me a little bit at and then right here it just feels like there's a there's a disconnect some uh here somewhere then also I, f I feel like this headline could have been a little bit closer to uh the description here tt says super sick i like the fact they used a medium that they enjoy the sunday slug sale font i feel indifferent about and the spacing in the text in the bottom left corner in the bolder text yeah top half is very cohesive but bottom half kind of doing its own thing yeah this this and i feel like you were um with this i feel like maybe you were having a difficult time with uh the shape of the of the guns here and was just trying to kind of fit the text to go with the go with the shape i feel like maybe yeah this this top half is really solid right here but this this bottom half need some work uh especially this right here like you kind of start to go be beyond your margin right here with this text so i feel like if you would have scooted this in just a little bit um could have even brought that down or even if you kind of took this here and kind of uh brought it onto the left to align with this column here and just had both of those kind of align with the less left side of this uh of this right column Adam A says I feel like the prices could be larger yeah the pri yeah the pricing is pretty small there yeah you could have utilized ta uh like a table for this also um and instead of having the pricing and all of that like you know randomly kind of here 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 you could have just kind of just had the image front and center right there and then you just could have put all of that info within a table probably could have done that for this also and then instead of including it beside each product you could have had like oh here's option a option b option c and then just kind of created like some sort of table to go down here at the bottom raven says i like the layout and the aura of it feels like a catalog that would be in gta yeah it does yeah it's 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 nice it does uh does come across as like a catalog catalog vibes Cami Leak says, can you rate my first t-shirt project? Where can I send it? You got to send it in the Discord. Send it in the Discord. I'll rate it. Not on stream, though. I'll rate it in the Discord for you. But yeah, nah, this is this is solid. This is solid. Y'all got any more thoughts for this one, chat? All right, we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, bet. All right, next we got Raven with the Sonic Catalog. The Sonic Catalog joint. What y'all think? How we feeling about this one? Vat Low was good. It's all good, bro. This will be uh this will be recorded or uh, uh on YouTube. I'll post this up on YouTube so you can just check it out later. STE says the new releases look a bit lost. John 3K says W for Sonic again. Nah, facts. He says got to go to work, but ma mine is Cameron. Enjoy talking and I'll watch later to see your thoughts. Yeah. Have a have a good day at work. Good day, afternoon, night, whatever. Don't work too hard. Cole says color palette is crispy. Yeah, I like the I like the gradient on this one. Yeah, somebody uh drop drop the link to the Discord in the chat. I can't do that. Raven says the text should have been squeezed in a bit more so the pics can fit together, be less jumbled. John 3K says, I love this uh concept. A catalog for a game items and Sonic Riders is a fire idea. Yeah, nah, that's dope. Adam A says, I like the simplicity of the layout. Yeah, no, this is cool. I I there's a there's definitely uh kind of clear kind of grid there i kind of i feel like the way these are kind of set feels nice um only thing that i would say is as far as kind of like a, a catalog i feel like this the format is uh you know 
a catalog, you're going to be opening it and kind of flipping through it. If we were to put kind of a line down the middle here, it wouldn't be, um, you know, some of that stuff would start to get lost within the, within the kind of binding of the magazine itself. And then I don't necessarily think you need the drop shadow right here. I think um, the drop shadow might take away from the, uh, might take away from the color a little bit being that it's just kind of like a black drop shadow maybe if, if it was more maybe if it was like uh you know like this purple kind of color here but you kind of used it as a drop shadow so that way it comes across as more of like a, a glow of some sort as opposed to you know kind of like a png or something that you just kind of slapped on there and then um i would say raven says i was playing tons of sonic rider zero uh, zero gravity and I based it off the gear shop and the game. Oh nice. It's dope though. I think um the body copy here probably could have been smaller. It's 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 weird because this typeface is like um I don't know it feels it's it's kind of competing with the headline a little bit. So maybe if the typeface were to be kind of smaller or um you were to find like a different typeface that kind of was a, a little bit more simple. I feel like this one is a, a little hard to read here, but that's just my that's just my my thoughts. And then I'm curious to see what I, I'm curious to see what this kind of what what we could do with this up here as far as the um as far as this description here, because I feel like this description is just kind of floating there, kind of feels detached from, uh, from the product kind of list listings so to say here, and then from the extreme gear. So maybe if you were to take this and kind of move it here and kind of make this smaller kind of, or kern these together a little bit more so that this description feels like it's in line with um, the headline here. I feel like that would have done good. And then maybe even working in, um, maybe, maybe working in some of this green a little bit also. Um, I really like, uh, really like that green color right there. And you can kind of see it in Sonic's eyes. And then you've got it in the you've got it in the board also. And so maybe if you just had like some splashes of green throughout it, I feel like that could have that could have really added something extra. Raven says, yeah, I was thinking about my laptop after I was done with it. Adam A says the Sonic title at the bottom right could be the main title at the top with extreme gear underneath, probably. Yeah, that could have been cool. And maybe like bringing the bringing the size of Sonic down a little bit and then kind of bringing this over to kind of be like kind of take up this area here i feel like that would have been solid overall though good work yeah overall i like it you know you get a you get an automatic w for me for 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 anything sonic related that dude xavier said could try pulling all the copy in uh putting all the copy in containers so they add in some more color oh yeah that that could work so they're like making these like um kind of actually look like modules of some sort so maybe having a kind of frame in this so that you've got your image here with kind of like the the items from the gear shop but then you've got like it's kind of set within another box so that you've got it kind of got this like a bento box sort of um sort of thing going on for each one of the the gear shop items i think that could have been cool but it's solid though good work on it all right next we got Thank you.